Cake Face fam! I'm so excited to be sitting down and filming and chatting with you guys today about makeup. It's been quite a few months. I was pregnant the last time I made a YouTube video and now I have a thriving five month old. He is so so cute and he's growing and wonderful and has been very exhausting. So I considered it a little bit of a maternity leave and now I'm hoping to be back a little bit more regularly. We shall see how things go if I have more time to myself to film. But um, today we were successful and I created this festive holiday look. It's very close to my heart because today is the first day we're celebrating my 30th birthday. So today is Friday. We're going to go see a Cirque du Soleil show that's Christmas themed. I'm very excited. And then tomorrow we're going to do more birthday stuff. And the day after that. And then the day after that is my actual birthday. So let the festivities begin. <laughs> I use a lot of my favorite products, of course, like I always do, but especially for today because it's such a special night out. Look at this lip. It's so pretty. And this eyeshadow, oh, I mean, I'll give you one guess what brand I used for my eyeshadows. If you didn't say Viseart, then you were wrong. Everything just was me sitting, chilling, taking my time, doing makeup while my husband watches my beautiful baby boy. So, without further ado, if you'd like to get ready with me, then just keep on watching. my eyelids with the Viseart eyeshadow base. I love how this is transparent, hydrating, makes my eyeshadow last through my brows. The eye, inner corner, and outer corner. Kind of going up towards the temples. That's my everyday. I am going to pull out this beauty I haven't used yet. Viseart Bouillon Quad. So pretty. We have three golden shimmering hues with a matte black. At first I was thinking red and green, my shoes are bright green, my clutch is green, and I've got this red bow in my hair. But I haven't used this one yet. But now I'm like, oh, the red and green theme is always so good, right? And this green quad is killer. We'll see. We'll see where this goes. But I'm going to start with my Hakuhodo S150 angled flat brush and go into the lightest shimmering champagne. Tapping off the excess, I'm going to pop that into the inner corner. Ooh, she's glowy. Very pretty. I think this was a good choice. I'm kind of just dragging that towards the lid without bringing it too far in. I could use all the help I can get to look nice and wide-eyed and wide-eyed? Like eye-opened and like awake and, and bright. Because my skin has never been worse to be honest. Like everything to do with having a little has kind of affected my lupus, lack of sleep, stress, hormones. Like I've got this lupus rash that's the most intense it's been. I mean today is not quite as bad as yesterday but dark under eyes, super incredibly dry. I drink a lot of water so not exactly dehydrated but dry, 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 dry. I'm going to take this beautiful slightly deeper golden champagne taupe and 
bring this across the lid. I think it will go really nicely with my dress. What I'm going to do next before I cover the entire lid is pull out a gorgeous little red quad and pick up the pale bone beige using my Chanticai Eye Blend C-shaped brush. And for my skin tone, this is a really nice underbrow type of highlight. And that's exactly how I'm going to use it. Just right underneath the brows to cancel some of that redness that's showing around there. And just brighten looking fairly natural. So today was the launch of the Lisa Eldridge cream eyeshadows and I did order three of them the pinkier tones. I skipped the gunmetal and the gold so I'm going to start with those three. Did you pick up any of them? I am excited about them. I was anticipating them because I saw in her pop-up shop sneak peeks of those. I'm taking more of that bone color and bringing it into my lower lash line inner corner right in there. Just brightening things up a bit. We'll do a better job with concealer but we just want to look nice and bright. We're not getting sleep. Nice and bright. <laughs> um, there's a theme here. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the green because I really could not stay away. My brush that's flat and angled and bigger than the Hakuhoda one I used earlier. I mean, we got to do the emerald, right? I think so. The more emerald type of green. I'm patting this color on to the outer half of the eye and she is gorgeous very smooth, very pigmented, and very rich in the undertones with a beautiful, softer green shine flash to it. It's absolutely stunning. I'm going to put a bit of the more spring green type of color to blend the emerald with that more golden hue we laid down previously, sandwiching the spring green with gold and emerald, so it just transitions smoothly. Evaluate my look as I go. I love bold, but right now I'm focusing on keeping things a little bit more reined in than I normally do. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the emerald on my ring finger, lightly pat this on. Okay, now that our pigment is on there, I'm going to work on really shaping the eye look, making sure things are looking fairly symmetrical, and tweaking based off of how I want my eye shape to come across. Do I want a little bit more lift? If I go too far out, it might close off my eyes. So I'm just taking things just inch by inch and looking at the look from different angles as I go. I'm gonna take just a blending brush. Any old blending brush will do just fine. Nothing too pointed. This one is just an old Morphe matte from the green. This Peridot quad is definitely my favorite. Perfect my edges. I'm sweeping this into right underneath the brow, hooking it into the structure of my nose bridge. I'm going to go back to that light bone color from 
the red quad and blend those two nicely together, those two mattes. There's another color from this Peridot quad that I'd like to use. It really goes nicely with my dress. Um, and it is this color right here. And my best bet is to use this with a pencil brush along this lower lash line here as a beautiful smoky green definition right there. Like I said, I want to keep my eye look really open and bright. So I'm not bringing it all the way across at this point in time. But I want to connect it with my upper look by just lightly flicking this up towards the outer point. Blending those greens together. I want it to look almost seamless like it could all be one green but it's got dimensionality, it shifts, and as you move your head it just kind of catches light in different ways. And that's the beauty of shimmers, right? Viseart does shimmers that are bold but also flattering. Don't enhance creepy textures. I think I'm ready to start bringing in some of that beautiful warmth that we're going for in this look. Going back in with my very first brush we used, picking up the copper tone in this palette. This one I want to just bring a hint of that warm reddish copper in the inner edge here right before the inner corner. And then I'm going to intensify it with a dash of the deep, beautiful cranberry red. Just the slightest little hint there, peeking through. Just a little pop of red. Nothing you would notice until you're, you know, really looking into the eyes things nice and bright we don't want to blend too much that red into the green you're gonna just get brown and we're going to do that more reddish sort of encircling of the eye look so I really want to make sure I clean up all of the fallout we don't want to muddy up our concealer foundation and ultimately our blush look so Really important to clean up. I'm going to take some black eyeliner, go up underneath the lower lash line, working it into the root of the lashes. And because of my exhaustion and everything, my eyes look dull to me and a little bit like red and strained. So I'm going to take some eye drops and just get those in there. I'm using my Eason Platinum eyeliner and bringing this onto the lower waterline just to keep everything nice and open. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna apply complexion-wise is my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I'm using a Sonia G blending brush. I'm gonna bring that right into the darkest areas of my under eye. I find this step to be a really great opportunity to perfect the shape of my eyeshadow. I'm going to be wearing a mask tonight, so the face makeup is kind of not going to be seen for the most part, but I still like to have it, you know. Makeup is for ourselves, you know. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Yes, I still do use this. <laughs> It's my favorite, and I'm using a NARS concealer brush. For moisturizer today, I used Glycoline Rejuvenation Cream. Just started using that. My friend's recommendation. I'm choosing the Surratt Dewdrop Foundation. I've got only a couple foundations in my arsenal nowadays, you know. Okay, I do want a bit of contour. So this is the Misha Velvet Light Color Stick. I don't know how to pronounce this either. It is cute. Got it at a Korean grocery store. 
Um, so I'm patting this in. I think it gives really cute definition for my skin tone. Okay, I'm definitely going to want to blush it up. But first, there's always a but first. This is the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Crystal Nebula. And the more I go over my spots where I concealed, the less coverage it has. So I like to do all this, my highlighter, blush, and then I'll go back and put some more concealer on top of the hard to conceal spots. If you have lupus and you struggle with a butterfly rash, I find that sandwiching powder and concealer, specifically the potted concealer like the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, works really well. Normally people recommend not putting concealer over powder, but if you just use a patting motion, this particular one works perfectly fine. And you can really get that coverage that you might be looking for. This is the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Enlivening Blush in Venetian Red. This has been my favorite for the last month. Such a beautiful, rich, burnt painter's red. Oh, pretty. So pretty. I'm going to take this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I'm taking that Venetian Red and patting this into my cheeks. It's so pretty. So rich. Mm, such a good color. I work with the tiniest amounts at a time because if you've tried Lisa's blushes, you know they can get out of hand real fast. Now for one of my favorite steps in my makeup process. It is buffing around my eyelid. Sounds silly, I know, for that to be a favorite step, but it never fails to make me happy. And today's choice is the By Terry Brightening CC Powder Rose Elixir. It has a beautiful sheen to it. A fluffy brush. And buff around the eye look. It just brings the seamless, beautiful, diffused. And then I'm going to switch over to my favorite, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting in Fair. Set the tops of my cheekbones where I put so much concealer. I like to hit where the mask will hit too. I'm going to take this beautiful Chikahodo F05 brush and go in with this red. Now, it's very pigmented. If you prefer a blush, like a, a legit softer pigmentation blush, might be a better choice. <laughs> but I've been doing this lately and I just find it to be beautiful. And I just kind of take a dab, run it across the back of my hand to make it nice and even on my bristles and take off some of the edge and sort of lightly bring that into my cheeks. I'm gonna bring it right across the bottom of the eye shadow. And so I build up slowly back and forth. And then I'm gonna take a bit above the eye look too. So just hugs all the way around, just like this. I like to see that subtlety come through without overdoing it. Because the art makes the chicest bold colors. The next step I would like to do is mascara. And at the moment I have a Pat McGrath Lab Fetish Eyes Mascara. Okay, we're definitely getting near the end here. I went ahead and glued on some pretty lashes. This pair has cute gold fluttery edges and I just think that they look so festive. 
I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. Or should I do my lips first? I think I should do my lips first just to make sure I don't go too heavy. So using my Isam lip liner, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the brighter side. And since this is a special occasion, I am going to use my very fancy dragon lipstick. It's the Gilt Gold Dragon Velvet Lipstick in number one. That just brought the look to life. I feel very done up. I'm going to pull out the gorgeous Chanel Duo. Hopefully you can see. It's a very pale silvery gold and a very pale yellow gold with lots of sparkle. Okay my friends, my final touch will be brows. I've been liking a very, very natural brow lately. So, to achieve that, I've been actually using a little bit of liquid liner and very softly drawing on some tail brow hairs. Just like so. Brushing them through to soften any harsh lines. And then, I like to go in with a bit of brow gel. This is an hourglass one that I'm finishing up. And then once I do that, usually I'm good, but right now I see a little bit of unevenness. So I'll either take a brow pencil or powder and just Okay, a very natural, not especially thick brow. A little bit of setting spray, and we're good. Okay, cake face fam. Cake face. <laughs> okay, cake face fam. This is the final look. I very much enjoyed creating this and sharing my process with you. I hope that you enjoy how this look turned out. If not, let me know that too. I would really like to hear what products and things you've been into lately, what you picked up for Black Friday, and what your, you know, makeup wish list is for the holidays. I would like to know all of those things in the comment section down below. Hit me up. I know it's been a very long time. And do I look very different? Because I feel like a brand new person. All you moms and dads out there, you know. You know the life-changing, completely worldview altering experience is to become a parent for the first time. I can't even describe it. It's been wonderful and so I feel like a different person since the last time we've done this. I'm still over here, maybe with a few gray hairs. <laughs> um, and I will be 30 in a couple days. So I hope you enjoyed my first birthday look and I'm seeing these petite fours. Oh, you're so pretty in action on my eyes and face. I will catch you in my next one. Bye, love bugs.